Hey, fourth grade. All right, we are back for another exciting day of art. And for you guys, we have a couple things to talk about. First, don't forget to be working on your memory page to be put together for a fourth grade book. So the memory page is gonna be like on a regular piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. Totally up to you what you put on it. It could be your name in bubble letters. It could be pictures of things that you loved about Buckingham. It could be pictures that you draw of your friends, your teachers, what the building looks like, your favorite memory. You could do some writing if you wanted to. You could make a border around your picture, but don't forget, please, please, to be working on your memory page because we wanna get everybody's page to put into one big fourth grade book. Once you do your page, I want you to hold on to it, and we're gonna figure out the best way to get the page from you guys so we can get them put together in a book. So please work on that. If you have any questions, you can always message me through Class Dojo or you can ask your classroom teacher, okay? All right, besides that, I'm gonna give you guys another project to work on today. We're gonna to be making bugs, and you guys can decide if you want to design or create your bug using pencils or crayons or markers or paint, that's one choice. If you want to create your bug using objects you find from around your house, that's another choice too. Because I've been talking to all the different grades as I've been going into their different Zoom meetings, and it seems like everybody really likes the projects where you get to use found objects, like the faces that we did a couple weeks ago. So, super quick, you guys know the different parts of a bug. There are three of them. There's the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. I'm gonna do a super quick sketch of a bug just to make sure we get all the parts. But like I always tell you guys, you're way better artists than me. So this sketch I'm doing, um, you guys can do a much, much better one. So this is just to get the idea of the parts of a bug. All right, so we said three, right? We've got a head, we've got a thorax, and then we've got an abdomen. I've made them circles and ovals. Again, you guys, you are have awesome imaginations. You can make all these shapes totally different. Triangles, rectangles, organic shapes, geometric shapes, totally up to you. The second thing your bug has to have besides the three body parts, it has to have legs. You guys know as well as I do, every insect has six legs. So again, they could be short legs, or maybe they're really strange curving legs. Maybe their legs that start out one direction then change direction, kind of like your arm with its elbow or its knee. Totally up to you. Maybe you want your insect to have wings. Maybe they want, maybe they're really big wings or maybe they're little tiny wings. Eyes. Antennas, these are my favorite because again, you can choose. Some people like to do little short antennas with little circles at the top or you can do big, long, curving antennas. You can add designs inside the thorax and the abdomen if you want. You can add complex patterns, we talked about that this year, to make it even more interesting. All of those are your choices that you're gonna make as an artist. And even if you don't wanna draw it, like I said, if you wanna go around and found objects around your house and make a head, a thorax, and abdomen, legs for your bug, antennas and wings, all out of found objects, you can do that too. So don't forget the memory page and then work on your insect. When you get your bug artwork, you can always take a picture of that and share it with me through Class Dojo. But those memory pages, hold on to them. We're gonna figure out how to get them from you. All right, hope you guys are hanging in there. It's really good to talk with you guys this week. Let's do a double high five from far away. Ready? One, two, three. Have a great day.